Welcome to the 26th episode of Skyrim Good Content. Today I'll be looking at the settlement again, although this time most of the settlement still remains in the final game. A small disclaimer here, we'll be left with more questions than answers, so keep that in mind. The settlement in question is Darkwater Crossing, located in East March. The surroundings of the settlement apparently were the site of the capture of Ulfric Stormcloak, although no one in town will ever mention that of course. Now, like some other settlements, Darkwater Crossing is essentially just a single house with a nearby camp for the miners. And just like those other settlements, this seems to not have been the case originally. To start off, the place originally had an inn that was supposed to be manned by Sondas Drenum, one of the miners. This can only be seen internally, as all of the scenes where Sondas is a part of are called Dialogue Darkwater Crossing Inn Scene, followed by a number. The internal naming of the scenes is the only place where an inn for Darkwater Crossing ever gets mentioned. Because of this, I don't even have a name to give you. Strangely though, despite Sondas getting turned into a miner in the final game, he still wears barkeeper clothes and he is still part of the Footfender faction. This brings us to the next removed building, a house simply known as Crossing House. Now, Crossing House actually has more remaining pieces in the files, four things to be exact. First off, it has remaining location data, which reveals the name and it also has a keyword attached, indicating it as a standard house. Secondly, there's a key, known as Crossing House Key. It goes completely unused, but hey, it's something, unlike the previously mentioned inn with no name. With the last two pieces of information, we'll figure out who was actually supposed to inhabit the Crossing House. A form list and the faction both contain the names of Tormir and her daughter Ravna, so this was meant to be their house. I just have to wonder about something. Sondas was supposed to be an innkeeper and he wears barkeep clothes. Does this mean that Tormir was supposed to be a shopkeeper as she wears merchant's clothes? This is just speculation though, as there is nothing except her outfit that hints at this. Well, the outfit and the fact that I find it strange for a normal house to be called Crossing House. Tormir's class is Ranger, something that doesn't really line up with her being a miner, but also doesn't hint at her being a merchant. While that does it for removed houses, we still have another mystery on our hands. To start off, let's listen to one of Tormir's greetings. What's your trouble? Dostern telling tales again? While I appreciate the concern, Tormir, you gotta tell me something. Uh, who in the name of the Nine is Dastern? There are only six people present at the settlement. Werner and his wife Anneke, Tormir and her daughter Ravna, Sondas and another miner Durkitis, but only if the player has rescued him. Well, whoever they are, we'll never know as they aren't mentioned again in the entire game. Not in the game, not in the files, nowhere. This is very strange. Skyrim almost never does this. Mention someone who doesn't exist in any form. If Dastern was a removed character, they would usually appear unused in the game's files. But Dastern doesn't. I don't understand how something like that happens, but it did. And not only that, let's listen to some of the scenes that play out between the residents of the settlement. And Marin thinks that we should go there. I don't want to hear another word about what you're learning from the elf. It's high time you learn to be a Nord, too. But Mama... He's a half-decent farmer. Ask him to teach you to farm. Sondas, does Refna ever mention Miran to you? She hardly ever mentions anything else. I'm just worried about what he's teaching her. I wouldn't worry about that. He's a good elf. I trust him. You're probably right. Okay, guys. Now you're just messing with me. Another one? So, yeah. The residents mention a male elf who's apparently a role model to Ravna. He's known as Mayoran, which would mean he's a high elf. But Mayoran doesn't exist in the files either. Just like Dastern, the dialogue I just presented you is the only place he's ever mentioned. I just find this so strange because like I said before, Skyrim normally never does this. A character that's deleted usually never gets mentioned in the game. An unused character may get mentioned, but that's just it. There's only one other instance of this happening in the entire game, and it's weirdly connected to Darkwater Crossing as well. And yes, I'd say they were deleted, because it would be pretty weird to just set up everything about these characters, and then just forget to create them. Now, it really pains me to say this, but there really is nothing more to say about these characters, as there isn't a single piece of evidence of their existence in the files. So, with the removed buildings and completely deleted people out of the way, are we done here? Well, yeah actually. This is all that was removed from Darkwater Crossing. A 
Of course, there's a lot to speculate about, but I don't like doing that in these videos, so I leave that up to you. And that's about all that can be said on Darkwater Crossing. I hope to have just educated someone somewhere about Skyrim's good content and then I'm happy. I would love to hear everyone's thoughts and or requests in the comments below and until next episode. We have enough content to keep it going for a long while.